Good morning, St. Francis, and good morning, people of God. It is Thursday, the 14th day of July, 2022. Thursday of the 15th week of the year, the 15th week in ordinary time, but also the memorial of St. Kateri Tekakwitha, um, the Algonquin Mohawk uh, woman who, uh, who was visited by the uh, Jesuits um, on their missionary journeys into North America uh, in the 1600s. Um, she becomes a Catholic um, and she, um, while well, shunned by some of her uh, members of her tribe, of the Algonquin Mohawk tribe, uh, she uh, persists in, uh, in in her Catholicism, in her belief, and becomes a model of uh, charity and of selflessness um, and of care for others, um, helping and assisting uh, the Jesuits um, in their missionary journeys. Again, sometimes all those missionary journeys were not very good by the Jesuits. Sometimes, uh, unfortunately, that led to a lot of trouble, a lot of uh, a lot of pain and and um, and, and anxiety. Uh, but uh, Kateri, uh, known as the Lily of the Mohawks. Uh, was able, hopefully, hopefully, to have smoothed over some of that misunderstanding, that pain uh, that sometimes can come uh, when uh, missionary activity may be too ardent and too strong and not respectful enough of the people uh, to whom one is bringing the faith. Um, but still on the Rhine uh, today, this is um, our last stop, really, before we come to Basel tomorrow, uh, from where we will take then a train uh, to Munich uh, to kind of finish off the uh, journey of the uh, Franciscan exodus uh, from uh, from. Uh, Munich uh, in the late 1800s. Um, this is the city of Breisach. It's actually behind these trees. I think you can't see it. Uh, it's behind the trees over here. But one of the most interesting things is this lock right behind me because there are a series of locks um, on the, as it's known as the Upper Rhine. Um, as you move south, it's the Upper Rhine. As you move north, it's the Lower Rhine. Uh, but on the Upper Rhine, um, as you come into Switzerland, where the source of the Rhine is, uh, there are a series of locks that help again to navigate um, ships and, and, um, and, and, and other uh, water vehicles uh, through the ups and downs. Uh, the lower of, of the Upper Rhine River. Uh, so uh, this great lock over here that we will have to go through eventually. Um, but on this uh, 15th day is also Bastille Day. Uh, so we were just in France yesterday in Strasbourg um, looking at some of the Franciscan evidence there. Uh, and. Um, and so it's uh, happy Bastille Day to, uh, to to all of our French listeners, if there are any. Uh, so uh, today's readings uh, again continue the uh, Book of Isaiah, um, where now there is kind of a penitential moment uh, that um, Israel uh, gives back to God for recognizing what it loses when it does not listen to God, when it does not hear God, and it is not basically a penitence of. Um, of, of, of pain or of suffering or whatever you want to call it. It is not uh, God in judgment telling Israel how bad it is. It is Israel recognizing um, that it needs God. It's recognizing that without God, nothing is possible. Without God, it ends up in dead ends um, and in, and in uh, dark roads and, and things that do not lead to any kind of life or wholeness or happiness. Um, it is this wonderful recognition that God hopes for in all of us. Um, ours is not a God who wants to constantly judge us and then basically punish us because we do not listen to what it is that God is trying to tell us to do is a God who wants us to come back. Again, the echoes of Hosea from last week, yeah, last week, um, in which God basically uh, painfully uh, requests us to come home, requests us to come back to what is true about us and what is real about us, and how we basically we just refuse to listen until we finally do and recognize what is possible with God and everything that can happen. Uh, once again, when we align ourselves, when we align our, our insight, when, when we align our perspectives with what it is that God offers to us. In Matthew's Gospel, we continue the second half of that chapter 11 verse, which is also uh, read on the Feast of St. Francis about if you are tired or burdened or weary uh, come to God uh, because you will find rest. Um, you will not find uh, legislation. You will not find rules and regulations. You will not find what you can and cannot do. You will find rest uh, because the burden that God lays upon us is light um, and our God is a God who carries us. Uh, too many times within our church, unfortunately, we like the rules. We like the re regulations. We like basically having such a um, circumscribed understanding of God and of ourselves that there is no freedom. There is no life. There is no ability to move anywhere. Um, that is not what God offers. That is not what Christ Christ offers, and in today's readings we hear um, especially um, that uh, God's yoke is easy, um, God's burden is light, and God opens that uh, way for comfort and for ease of life and for rest uh, to all of those who will dare to believe. And may the Lord give you his peace.